Well, welcome back to the Fox 19 News Morning Extra. We are Thinking Pink. It is the 19th of the month, and we do one section of Think Pink. We dedicate it to survivors. It's our golden moment. I want you to meet Shannon Zimmerman, and of course, you met Terry Bogan earlier, the nurse navigator here at St. E. And Shannon, you were diagnosed back in 2008, yes. never imagining that you would hear the words that you have breast cancer. Can you no. kind of take us back to that moment? Um, I went to St. Elizabeth for my routine mammogram, June of 08, and did my mammogram. They saw something suspicious, and um, I went in to have an ultrasound following that, immediately after that, and the radiologist came in and said, Shannon, I think you have breast cancer. He saw a spot. He showed me on the, um, on the screen, and he said, this is the area we're really concerned about, and I think you have breast cancer never imagining that you would hear those no. words, but faithful to get your mammogram every year. Oh, absolutely. I just had one in December of 07 because they had seen some calcifications on my, on my test. And I went back in June because that was when I was having my annual. Mm. Yes. I know you're an employee. You've been with St. E for quite some time. What a blessing um, to have been in the midst of a wonderful program with the nurse navigation. And in fact, that day, they hooked you up with Terry and her team. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I went to um, the ultrasound. They said, I think you have breast cancer. I knew at that moment I was in great hands. I didn't cry. I didn't, I wasn't even worried. I knew I was going to be okay. They took me to a consultation room where I had a nurse navigator immediately and they set up my appointments. They contacted doctors for me. I did nothing because after you hear the word breast cancer, you don't really think, you don't have any recollection of sure. anything afterwards so or they were a godsend oh, I, I'm sure and not really knowing what that next step is supposed to be because you've never been there before how important is it for the mammography van and just the program that they have at St. E going out into the community I mean when you hear the numbers mm -hmm. 7,000 mammograms out in the community a year between the two vans 50,000 at the breast center yeah uh, it's amazing that we even have this program that that can be done because sometimes it is it's hard for women to get into St. Elizabeth to get their mammogram. Having it come to them is phenomenal. I truly believe that having the mammogram saved my life. If I didn't get that mammogram, I mean, my tumor could have been growing, growing, and I would have never known it. So I, I know the mammogram saved my life. And Terry, it just kind of echoes what you had shared earlier and the key to early detection and just getting your mammogram each and every year. Absolutely. Self-breast awareness is key. Mammography, clinical breast exam, and knowing what your body is normal. And so that way, if there's a change, you can present that to your physician. Mm -hmm. And so over the past few years, just on your journey, Shannon, um, how life has changed for you and just uh, words of wisdom to those women, women that are out there maybe this morning, newly diagnosed, that probably where you were back in 08 and just not sure which direction to go. I remember Dr. Gunther saying, this is going to just be eight months out of your life where it's going to be a little inconvenient. And at the time, you don't believe it, but it is so true. I'm in better shape now than I probably was then. And um, I've been able to help other women, women in my neighborhood. I live right here in Edgewood who've been diagnosed. I drop cards off. They call me down on occasion because I work right upstairs. Shannon, can you come down and talk to, you know, so-and-so? And, -so? and I, I love doing that because you do have a sense of giving back because I know what it was like and I know how scary it can be but you have a sense that you want to help the next person. Wow. From what I hear, you've helped many more well, than just you. the one person. So we appreciate that. And Terry, for those that are out there watching, maybe have no connection to St. E, but know that they have to get their mammogram, what do you suggest that they do? Make a call, make the appointment, get your mammogram. It is so important and early detection is the key to survival. So get your mammograms. Well, we have put up on our um, website where the van is going to be tomorrow, Friday, next week. We've given you the number. All you have to do is call and make an appointment. It truly is about 10 minutes. You know, you pull up and you go inside the van about 10 minutes and you've done what you need to do each year. And I say not only for yourself, mm -hmm. but for your family Absolutely. and your friends as well. Yeah, it, my family has been a huge support. Uh, my husband was awesome. I did the gene testing also just 
because I do have children. I have two daughters, and I thought it was really important for them too. Nieces, all, all the women in my family. Wow. Well, we appreciate you sharing your story. Glad you're that you're welcome. doing well, Shannon. Thank good you. to see you, Terry. Thank you very much. Again, all the information on our website at fox19.com. We'll be right back.